Hi, welcome to an Arduino tutorial from Robojax. In this video, we are going to find out the frequency of the pulsed modulation output from Arduino. We are going to use the oscilloscope to measure the frequency and also I am going to show you the rising time and falling time of a signal. Also to announce that I have launched my Patreon account, the link is below if you want to support me. Let's get started with this. I've seen a lot of people are asking about the frequency of pulse width modulation of Arduino. I've connected Arduino Uno and now this is a potentiometer. I have a separate video explaining this. The code will be available. The link is below the video in the description. But in this one we are just going to measure the frequency of this on oscilloscope so you can see it here. Let me explain the wiring. I've connected this potentiometer with the three wires. The right wire, which will go to the maximum, is connected to five volts. The left wire is connected to the ground. And the middle wire, which is very important, it must be connected to analog zero or any analog pin, not to ground or five volts. So the middle pin is connected there. And here are these two wires are connected to my oscilloscope. One will be connected to the ground of Arduino and the other one will be connected to different pens as we proceed. Let me explain the code that I have written so it can generate pulse width modulation on all pens. First I have defined the pens on Arduino Uno that are capable of pulse width modulation those are the pin 3, 5, 6, 9, 10, and 11. And there are the pins that have a tilde beside them. 3, 5, 6, 9, 10, and 11. And this module as well, they just put a different shape, but that is referring to that. So we have defined all the pins. After that, we are just using analog input, so we can input some value from analog pen if we want to and then inside the setup we are using a for loop that uh, uses all the value of this array this is array with this value instead of writing this six time we are just using this for loop when i is, is zero this i is replaced when it is zero it pulls up three when it is one it pulls up five six nine so this is as if we type three and output and then five as output and then six so it just eliminates that we, then we initialize the serial monitor with 9600 baht so if we want to display the value on the serial monitor it will do it for us this line is just reading the potentiometer value and the value is stored here we call it pot val value and then the map will convert it it gets that value which is from 0 to 1023 it, it has 1024 uh, steps we can we map or convert it to the values between 0 uh, to 255 0 means 0% zero duty cycle and 255 means 100% duty cycle and then we use a for loop again here to output this value to all pens and that are pulse with modulation and we print it on the serial monitor as well and then we wait five seconds the loop will continue doing the same thing potentiometer is almost at the middle so 50 percent duty cycle 
I'm connecting this to pen 3. Now, this is a frequency that you are reading, 485 or 487 hertz, if I stop it. So 485 hertz. Let's see if the frequency is affected by duty cycle. 487, 90. And when I go to 100% duty cycle, now it's 100%. Again, the same frequency, if I go to zero, this is not zero because we see some value there. There is, but still 409. Now let's go to pen five. And as you can see, the frequency has been doubled. 980 80 hertz. Let's go to pen 6, 980 Hz, again, pen 9, 490 Hz, now let's go to pen 10. I've spent quite some time preparing the equipment, testing, recording and uploading this so you can learn. The least that you can do for me is to click on the subscribe button and leave the notification on. It's greatly appreciated. Thank you. And here is the waveform from pen 3. As you can see, the frequency shows 480. And for the rising time, the rising time is the time that the signal goes from low, from zero volt, this is a zero volt, when it goes to five volt. The voltage is now five volts. The time it takes, it takes some time that it goes to five volt. And here, when it goes from here to here, this delta X1 shows two microseconds. That is the rising time falling time is the time that the signal goes from high to low it takes some time that it goes down and here from that point to this point this distance in time is two microseconds and this is from pen 5 as you can see it shows 926.6 I've locked it so it's 980 Hertz uh, let's see the rising time as you can see the rising time is 989 nanosecond so if this become 1000 it will be one microsecond so the rising time is very short with comparing to pen 3 and now let's have a look at the falling time for the pen 5 and 6 when the signal goes from high to low it shows 984 nanosecond it's uh, almost half of the falling time and rising time of a pen 3. The rising time for pen 9, 2 microseconds. This is pen 9, let's see the falling time. 2 microseconds. And this is now pen 10, the rising time is 1 microsecond. And here the falling time that it, the signal goes down. It is one microsecond. This is the pen 11. Now let's see the rising time. Two microseconds from here to here. This time period from here to here is two microseconds. That's the rising time. And here the falling time. Again, two microseconds for pen 11. Let's measure the authentic Ar Arduino Uno rising and falling time. This is for the pen 3. Let's check the rising time. One micros. And this is the pen 3 falling time. The pen 3 falling time. It shows to be one microsecond. 
This is pin 5. Let's check the rising time. 2 microseconds and the falling time 2 microseconds. This is now pin 6. Let's check the rising time. 4 microseconds, very slow with comparing to pin 5. And falling time, 4 microseconds. This is pin 9, let's check the rising time. 4 microseconds and falling time, 4 microseconds. And the falling time for pin 10. This is pin 11. Let's check the rising time. 10 microseconds 10 times slower and the falling time 10 microseconds if you want to learn Arduino whether if you are electrical engineer mechanical engineer mechatronic engineer or hobbyist or a researcher I have an Arduino course that is structured from ground up step by step with all material including the library codes schematic diagram all in one place will help you to learn Arduino very quickly. In no time you will be able to build your own uh, smart robot or mechatronic project using Arduino. The link for my Arduino course at Udemy is below the video in the description. So for conclusion we could say that the, for Arduino Uno the frequency is on pin 5 and 6 is 980 hertz and pin 3, 9, 10 and 11 is 490 hertz. Thank you for watching. If you like this video and learned something, please thumb up. Please uh, leave comment or question if you have below the video in the description. I'll try to answer and reply. And if you have not subscribed so far, please subscribe.